Okay, you guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a survey. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to click on this button right next to the My Stack Crunch, and you're going to go to Surveys. Okay, then you're going to click on this button that says Create a Survey on the left-hand side. Okay, and then you can name your survey. So let me just say Project on Eye Color. Okay, this is my second attempt, by the way, at talking to myself. I've already done this two times and I messed up. So let's see if I can get it right. Uh, here, I'm going to close it for responses. Okay, everything is good because uh, I'm going to be adding questions. You can look at these other options. There's other options that you can go ahead and, and work with. Um, here in the description, you can write down what your, what your project is about. You can say, I want to know if I color... Oops is associated with, uh, I don't know, with your favorite animal. I don't know. That's different. Whatever. Okay. Anyways, uh, you can go ahead and do something else. A custom thank you message if you want to thank them. You can also take uh, put a put a picture if you want. So let me go ahead and submit it. Okay, so now you have four different options. You can do a multiple choice, fill in the blank, free response, or multi-part. I'm going to go ahead and put multiple choice. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and put maybe, uh, what is your eye color? What is your eye color? Okay. All right, and then you can go ahead and have options for your eye color. So maybe you can say black, blue, mm, green brown I don't know um if you forget a color or you're just lazy and you forgot something you can click on this add other button right and it'll go ahead and do a fill in the blank and then after that you can they, the user or respondent can just go ahead and enter something in there so yeah here the column label you can go ahead and label the column and here you can just go ahead and name it I don't know I color if you want right and then it'll be in position number one. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit the question. So, um, yeah, there you go, okay. And then there's the first question, okay. And then you can go ahead and write down more questions if you want. So if you wanna do age, fill in the blank is actually a really good one, right? So you can maybe say, what is your age? And the cool thing about this is that you can actually set your limitations on this so you can click on only accept numerical inputs so that people don't be weird and do stuff hold on just one second my oh my cat is meowing hold on just one second okay i had to let the cat out because she was meowing and she was trapped in the room okay so anyways as i was saying what is your age you can only accept numerical inputs so you can write it maybe from i don't know from zero to maybe a hundred i don't know whatever you want to go and do uh you can change the position if you want from maybe two to the first position maybe you want what is your age to be the first question that you want you want your respondent to see so you can click on submit question and then what is your age is now the first one so you can change the order of the of the of the of the questions uh, you can click on free response also free response basically just gives you a big text box where you can go ahead and give an opinion about something uh, like for example why did you choose to complete this survey? Okay, and then you can label it as choose. I don't know. And then what's going to happen is going to give you a big text box and they can write whatever the heck they want. It'll be harder to analyze that, but that's just something maybe you want feedback on something or you just want to go ahead and read it. Uh, what people think, you can go ahead and just do that too. Uh, try not to do multi-part. Uh, it's cool, but you know, you can just leave it as is. But so let's say that's what's my survey. Um, so I can go ahead and access my survey. So let's say if I click home on accident, you're like, oh my god, what happened to my survey? Rest assured, it's still there. You can go ahead and click here on this button oh, next to Stack Crunch, click on surveys, and it's right there. Project on eye color. Okay. Now notice right now it's closed. So if we are ready to get going and I approve it. Um, you can go ahead and start sending it out to students. Now, what are you go uh, or whatever your population is? So, what do you do? You click on the but on on the project on eye color. Then you're gonna change the status because right now it's closed. So I'm gonna change it to open for responses. Okay. 
Now when it's open, right, what's gonna, the next window that's gonna appear is an email link. So you can use this email link, right? And you can go ahead and send it to your to everyone. So this is the link that you wanna go either send me if you want me to send it to them, to, to the class if you want me to send it to the class, or uh, the link that you can post on Facebook, or um, I don't know, um, whatever you wanna go ahead and, or you can put it on Blackboard too. Um, so there, you can go ahead and do it, right? And then after everything's nice and dandy, right, you can go ahead and um, analyze it, right? In this case, if I click on analyze, we ain't gonna get anything, right? Right now, we have nothing. There is no responses, right? Nothing whatsoever. So it's basically useless. But basically, what you're gonna get, end up getting, you're gonna end up getting something that looks like this. So let me look at another survey that I've done already. So let me click on maybe my summer 2017 survey. Um, I'm gonna first go ahead and get rid of some of the questions. So I'm gonna delete the first name um, and the last name so that you guys don't know who these people are, okay? Okay, and then, so here is my survey, right? So I'm gonna go, and I, I usually gave this to my stat students and I didn't give it this semester because I forgot. But anyways, okay, you can click on analyze, right? So. And then what's gonna happen, once everyone does their survey and does everything, you are gonna go ahead and get all of these information. And then you are ready to go ahead and analyze. Or maybe you might have to do a little bit of cleaning if people were being weird and doing whatever. But yeah, that's basically what it is. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, and yeah.